My name is Clay McKinney. I am the mayor of the Alternative Energy Zone, also known as the AEZ. And we organize a theme camp village and we encourage the use of alternative energy and not generators. AEZ was started, oh, the idea was somewhere around 1999 and its first year as a registered theme camp was the year 2000. And it was, it was born because there were generators everywhere you looked and, and they were loud and polluting the smells and everything. So they wanted to create a group of people that were passionate about alternative energy, solar, wind, and, and bring them together under one common theme camp. The AEZ, when it started out, was, um, I want to say about 20, 25 people. And in the 19 years we've been on Playa, we've grown to 480, we've hit 500. In the next five years, I'm hoping that we're going to potentially even double that. We're gonna take over the whole city eventually, pretty much. I'm seeing that as a 10-year plan. We'll be running this place. Hi, I'm Skunky. And what you're looking at here is a small footprint burner camp. So my partner, uh, DL, or Antelope, and I have always been uh, excited about this notion of reducing our footprint on the planet. Uh, coming to Burning Man is an amazing place to experiment with that. We are traveling all the way from Vancouver, BC, so what can we do to reduce our gas consumption? What can we do to uh, reduce the amount of space that we are taking up, our carbon footprint, and the amount of stuff that we are taking off the playa in terms of gray water and trash and so on. And from that perspective, over the last uh, six, six years, we've really optimized how we do things. And the community of around the Alternative Energy Zone, AEZ, has been an incredibly rich resource to help us on this journey and get us to where we are today. A lot of it is just making people realize that they can, they can do what they need to do without a generator by utilizing solar in any level. They can pose a question to our email list and in that list people will tell them this is what worked for me, this is what didn't work for me, watch out for this, do it this way, and then they can take all of those positive things and then figure out what works for them. The way we run the village is anybody can participate or not participate, uh, we don't do dues. If you want to camp with us, you can camp with us. You don't really clean up after yourself and don't bring a generator. So we did a couple of things, right? We wanted to be here and be cool on the playa. We wanted to be comfortable on the playa, be able to sleep in. So there's some uh, tried and true things that we did. Um, and the, the more interesting things that we've done is, is, uh, is choosing the right technologies, the right materials, and, and, and organizing it in a way that is portable. Um, choosing to go solar for our refrigeration. Over the years, we spent close to over a thousand dollars in the last five, six years on, um, on dry ice. We replaced that with two extremely lightweight, flexible solar panels. Uh, two lightweight solar panels, um, you know, a tiny little controller uh, that are now built into our camp infrastructure. We are able to reduce the, uh, the dry ice weight. It's gone. We've replaced uh, 100 pounds of dry ice with 30, 20, 25 pounds of battery and solar panels. And now we can be here for any amount of time. I mean, if you look at this thing, it's at minus five degrees. Uh, we are making our own ice. Our food can stay now for you know, a month if you want to be here. So again, uh, bringing everything down, right? Figuring out uh, what, is, what is that balance between a technology uh, and, uh, and disposable resources, right? And we don't want, we want to, we want to lean towards innovation. Uh, what I would say to the naysayers, to people that are kind of resisting against it, um, let me show you why it will work for you. Give me your, give me your load, give me what it is you think that you can't do, and I'll show you how you can do it, and do it in a positive way. Uh, some people do feel kind of aggressive about it, but if you show them how simple it can be and how quiet it can be and, and it, that it's sustainable and we get free energy from the sun every day, the sun rises whether we want it to or not. Um, and, and that's okay. If people, if people want to resist that, you know, that's okay. Eventually, it's going to change. It takes time to get people through. And even some of the biggest naysayers will eventually go, well, okay, maybe. And all you have to do is just give them the slightest idea and that will grow. 
we want to show you how you could use a generator, even if we use it less, at least we're using it less. Uh, so when we're overlords of Black Rock City, we will, we will try to show them the path. That sounds like a cult, right? <laughs> Uh, but but it's not it's not like that in that respect I think we can win them over just by by example